So in this lecture, we will render this composition and create a new video. Fine, I hope you've taken care of your settings. This is a 720p, 30 frames per second, and we want the full resolution, and this is our work area. Now, to render a composition, I'm going to give you the best way. Okay, you come to Comp, and you go to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Now, we can use Add to Render Q, but I can assure you, you're going to have problems with the codec. From now on, even for the previous versions of After Effects CC, I will recommend that you always use Add to Adobe Media Encoder. It seems the second one here is going to be phased out. That's my personal opinion. So, you click and you go to Add to Media Encoder. Immediately, Adobe Media Encoder will pop up. If it didn't pop up, it means the installation that you have done for After Effects and Media Encoder did not work very fine. Usually, Adobe Media Encoder is installed with After Effects. Nevertheless, I will show you in the next lecture, if it doesn't pop up, how to pick a composition just from Adobe Media Encoder. Now here, there is Challenge Motion Graphics. This is the name of the composition. And somehow there is already a setting. This is not the default setting. Maybe you have something else on your screen. This is just the last setting I used. It really doesn't matter. Now, the best way to work, let's say you are uploading to YouTube, is to find a preset. Over here, you have the system presets. And there are hundreds of presets that you can use. Your interest will be in social media. If you twirl down, you will notice that you have Facebook and Vimeo and YouTube and also Twitter somewhere. Here is Twitter. Let's take an example here. Let's say we want to produce a video for YouTube but our composition is 720p. And what you want to do is to click and drag and drop it under your composition. Let's delete the previous one. Okay. Fine. Over here, you have the output file where you want to save your video. If you click, you will notice that there is AE Project Challenge Animation AME. Let's go to AE Project to show you exactly what's happening. Now, I saved the project in AE Project. And After Effects has created a folder which has the name of the composition plus Adobe Media Encoder. Okay? If you double-click, the video is going to be saved here. I will just cancel. Now, you notice there is a 2 here, Motion Graphics 2. That's because I've been saving Motion Graphics 1, 2, and so on. Actually, you are ready. That's all that has to happen. All you have to do is to pick the preset and drop it under the queue. Now, you're ready to start producing your video click on the arrow. Here you are. So notice, we have rendered the video now only 5 seconds. It's very speedy here. Let's go see our video. I'll click on the link and it opens where it has saved it. Now notice how many temporary projects I have here because I tried this or I clicked several times. You really don't need them. You can care less about them. You can even delete them. That's okay. He will recreate them. This is your video. If you double click, here you are. It start opening for me. It's opening in uh, VLC, and you have your video. And notice the five seconds here. Cool, guys. So actually, you produced your video, and that's it. It's as simple as this. Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you in the next lecture.